Kevin Lee, the Motown Phenom. We're in New York City. You're the Motown Phenom, but what does New York, what does this city mean to you, especially fighting here? You know, it's, it's, it's so much history here, you know, especially when you talk about Madison Square Garden. And I feel like you walk through some of these buildings, and you can kind of feel it. Uh, so I feel like when I walk in on Saturday night, I'm going to feel like a lot of people got their ass whooped here before. And uh, Gregor's going to be one of them. And a lot of people done whooped some asses there. And uh, can't wait to be one of them too. Have you got any famous MSG moments throughout history, musically or in sport? You know, the first one I went to was, uh, was when George fought um, uh, Michael Bisping. And that was just such a great card. You know, you had Rose Nama U.S. beat uh, Joanna on the same card. Uh, and then Cody got knocked out too. I mean, it was my first one, but it was such a great night, yeah, that, that's got to be it. I haven't been here since I was a kid, but I, I've got a lot of stuff to eat. Now, I don't want to talk about food too much right now, but post-fight or post-weigh-in, what's on your list? Have you got any places to go? Best Italian food is here in New York City, for sure. I'm, we go on a little Italy right after the weigh-ins, uh, and then right after the fight, it's some New York City pizza. One of the best spots right next to Madison Square Garden. I'm probably going to walk straight from there shoot over, have me a beer, and uh, eat some pizza. Might be a cliche, but I had New York State of Mind by Nas on today. What's on the playlist for you right now to, to get you hyped? Yeah, I've been even uh, asking some people who, who's the next up and up. Um, you know, of course, Nas, I, I love, and you know, uh, there's so many New York rappers. Um, there's Carnage right now, I'm listening to him. Uh, Davies, but Young M.A. Uh, is the one out here in New York. I think she next up. Uh, have you been watching any, I mean Rocky's the one right, but this, this feels like his, a big chapter in your career for a comeback, right? You're looking for that retribution. How have you been getting in that mind state? Because this sport has so many highs and so many lows, and I think uh, you've become very wise in a short space of time talking to you over the last couple of years. Yeah, that, that's, that's what this fight is going to be about. I think it's a, a revitalization in, in my career. Um, it's going to be the next chapter. Uh, taking on a guy like Gregor, who, who's undefeated, it's, it's, it's a very, very dangerous fight. I think it's the most dangerous in my career so far. So uh, it's all hands on deck for this one. Everyone talks about his wrestling. People have talked about your wrestling for a lot of your career. Do you believe you're the better striker here? Where do you think you have the edge over here? Yeah, I think I'm. I think he's he's never fought somebody like me who can do it, who can truly do it all, um, and is very well rounded. You know, it's I've kind of always had the skills. It's just about putting them together at this point. And uh, now working with the right camp and working with the right coach and the right guy behind me to tell me what to do where. Um, I feel like it's gonna. He, he's not gonna know what he, what he's getting himself into. I feel like you, you've been looking for the right answer with the weight, with the gym. Do you think TriStar is that answer for you? Yeah, yeah, I can feel it. You know, every week while I'm up there, I'm feeling a little bit better week after week after week. Um, and I feel like that's going to play big dividends in this fight. And, and I have to, you know, guy, a guy like Gregory is so dangerous. I, you know, I, I put in 100% preparation for this fight. 100% prepared. The Motown Phenom, Kevin Lee, tune in, Fox Sports Asia.